up, everybody? You are watching and listening to The Voice of Cheer. I'm your host, Tristan Allen, helping you work smarter, not harder in the great sport of cheerleading. Wow. Well, today is the start of season two of The Voice of Cheer. I am over the moon excited. Uh, season one was great. Had a, it had a fantastic time. Uh, talked to a lot of great friends, a lot of uh, awesome males in the industry, but now it's time to talk to the leading ladies of the cheerleading industry. So first and foremost, I wanna say thank you to my, the very first person on season two. I have to introduce to you the head coach of Oklahoma Baptist University, Go Bisons. Please make some noise out there for Miss Jessica Styles. How are you doing? I'm awesome. Thank you so much for having me today. Oh, thank Excited you for being this. on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excited to do this. Yeah. So guys, before we uh, before we get started, I, I do have to, I gotta be a little honest. I love, you know, cheerleading is real. I like to be honest. So uh, we jumped on the show, we, we started getting going and something happened to my system and it wasn't working. And uh, Jessica was uh, gracious enough to be extremely patient with me. <laughs> And, uh, and and let me get my life together before we got this thing rocking and rolling. So thank you once again. You're welcome. We're used to adjusting and going with it, right? Yeah. Really, that's what we do. Yeah. You know, we always get hit with some random punches and cheerleading, you know. Oh, yeah. So Jessica, tell, uh, tell me and tell the world a little bit about your background in cheerleading and kind of how you got started into the, in the sport. Okay. Um, I'm from Tulsa, Oklahoma. OBU is in Shawnee, Oklahoma. So I'm from Tulsa. And um, I started out at what was Cheer Dynamics in Tulsa with Shannon Young, Corey yep. Jones. And um, yeah, so that's where I started out. Um, and, and a smaller gym as well with Craig Calloway, anyone that knows him in mm -hmm. Tulsa. Um, and then I cheered at the University of Central Oklahoma in college under David Owens and had a great experience there. Um, when I graduated, I stayed around and coached, um, helped assist David for, for a little bit of time. And, and then I stayed in the Oklahoma City area personally and worked at Tribe Cheer, worked at a couple of other gyms and just stayed here. I love Oklahoma City and just kind of being central in the state, kind of got my roots um, in here. And then I started a college program at what was St. Gregory's University. It's a small college. That was my first, like, what am I doing? Do I want to do this? <laughs> um, loved it. Loved um, working with the college age kids. And then um, OBU is in the same town as Shawnee, or as, as St. Gregory's, actually, funny enough. And I saw that they were transitioning their program and wanted to do something different, a different direction. And so right. I was really interested on what was going on there. So that's just a little bit about me. My degree is in mass communications. And so I love um, the coaching side of it, but I also love, uh, you know, this side of it, the marketing side of it and all the social media that comes with everything we do and everything like that. So, so you're yeah. so you're a jack of all trades is what it sounds like. <laughs> I like to try to be. <laughs> yeah, you do a little bit of everything. That's awesome. Your background seems to be extremely extensive. You've, you've been in the industry. Uh, how long have you been in the cheerleading industry, if you don't mind me asking? Um, I'd say about, you know, I started my sophomore year of college coaching all star and just dove right in. And so I think it's been probably about 13, 14 years now. Wow. Uh, yeah. And that was kind of a goal of mine is to dig in and give it all I had and accomplish a lot in my twenties and, um, kind of figure out what I wanted to do. There's so many different options, different ways you can go in cheerleading nowadays. Right. Um, and I just, I knew I loved cheerleading. I knew I was passionate about um, females and their opportunities. And I just right. didn't know what that looked like. And I right. needed to kind of figure that out. So, but I think I figured it out. And I think OBU is stuck with me. So I love <laughs> what I'm doing. So <laughs> that is awesome. I think, uh, I think it's great when people, uh, they jump into the sport as an athlete and, and on exit, you kind of, you kind of figuring, like you said, you're kind of figuring out what do I do next? What can, what can I do? I think is a, is a real question. What are my options? And I think some people out there um, as they're finishing degrees from college or, or, or going from one college to the next, they're trying to figure their, their path and they have no clue. There's so many options these days when it comes to the sport of cheerleading. You know? Yeah. And that's part of why I love, I love high school. I love working with kids, but that's part of why I love college they you know college kids are so ambitious and mm -hmm. 
so excited, but so clueless. And <laughs> I love being able to, um, you know, guide them on like the daily and go, what's going, what's going on? Something's not right. You know, I love right. that part of it. But then I also love, you know, working with my connections in the Oklahoma City community and getting internships for them and right. helping them find what's going to feed them, you know, in their future and getting them set up for that. Because we're all so clueless in college, right? <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. So it, it's awesome that you're more than a coach. You seem like a, a strong mentor and, a, and an inspiration to these athletes. And, and I say this all the time. Um, we are more than coaches. Sometimes coaches don't realize that, yeah. you know, we're, we change lives just like someone changed ours, you know? Right. So, well, we're going to go ahead and dive uh, right into this podcast. I got a few questions for you. Um, to be honest, I got your name from what I don't know exactly how she is uh, acclimated in your program, um, <laughs> but she spoke extremely highly of you uh, and, and kind of just put me, I mean, dropped pictures in my inbox, pictures, uh, emails, everything. And I was just like, yeah. wow, who is this? I need to know this person. And so, you know, I do my own research. I started digging and I'm like, this chick. Jessica Stiles is doing it. She is out there really doing it. So I want to learn about uh, OBU, Oklahoma Baptist University, and, and basically how you got started at OBU. Yeah. First of all, Shannon is awesome. Her her senior just graduated, so we are going to miss her, but pull her back in for more pictures. She's an I awesome hear, I, I hear she has. Uh, I hear she has oh, yeah. another one coming. I have. Yeah. Avery, I got you, girl. <laughs> um, yeah, we love the Rowls. I always joke with them that I want to be a Rowl in my future life. They're awesome. <laughs> um, but so over you. Um, so I, you know, I, like I said earlier, I had, you know, played with some other college programs and and knew that that was kind of a route I wanted to take. But um, I, I needed a couple things if I was going to do a another college program. Right. I wanted somewhere where I was bringing girls into an incredible education. Right. That was really important to me. I wanted them to be set up academically, um, to be ready when they head out from college. Um, I wanted a really awesome environment. Um, mm -hmm. I, a Christian environment would have been amazing, but I wanted a whole experience for these kids and I wanted it to be smaller. Um, I always tell kids, know, know yourself. If you want a D1 game day atmosphere, we're not it for you. But if you want a really great game day atmosphere and you want the whole campus package that feels like a large campus where you're taking care of, your professors know your name, um, you're getting a really incredible education, you're treated like an athlete, you know, you, you've got to look at the whole package and you've got to know what you want. Right. Um, so, you know, I wanted academics, I wanted the whole package. I wanted to bring in other coaches that um, could feed into these girls. I wanted to bring women um, that were mothers. And I, I wanted, you know, I just wanted to be more than cheerleading. And so mm -hmm. I had to find the right place to do that. OBU is known in our area, in the Midwest, really, for its incredible academics. Um, its nursing program, people come all over for nursing. Um, wow. We we're, we're kind of called like the Harvard of the Midwest. It's just an incredible education and um, our leadership is great. All the other or the athletics, um, they win every year. I'm like, no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it was just this, it was like everything kind of added up whenever I was looking into it. Um, I remember interviewing with our athletic director and the interview went great. And at one point he seriously said, he was like, so how quick can you win? And I'm like, oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> All right, so you expect direct that? and straight to the point. Yeah, Pow. yeah he was, and I thought, well, I I'm confident in that, but whoa, <laughs> um, but I liked that because it made me realize he was serious about investing in what I was trying to do. Right. So um, anyway, so I wanted all these things, and I saw it in OBU, and so um, OBU didn't have a competitive program at the time. They had a sideline program of ten to fifteen girls. They'd had that forever with a professor who was also the coach. She'd been there yeah. forever. She's still there, Coach Mac. Um, but the school was transitioning from NAIA to Division II Got it. at the time, and they wanted to bring cheer and dance under athletics. 
And they didn't really know what that looks like at the time, but mm -hmm. they just knew they had seen other schools doing it. They knew it was a chance to offer um, a great opportunity for females, potentially stunt in the future. They didn't know again what it looked like, but those were their, right. that's what they knew. And so I um, interviewed for the position and um, it went well, here I am. And um, I was really lucky. I was able to help kind of write the program. I could have chose UCA or NCA. You know, right. they, they weren't sure. Right. Um, I could have not done stunt. They weren't sure. Um, so, uh, you know, on a personal level, that was super cool that I was able to do that. Um, one interesting thing, though, is that I was still at St. Gregory's at the time. And um, when I was hired in the spring of that year, they basically were like, okay, come on now. We need to start recruiting. And I said, no, I'm, I'm not leaving my kids until yeah. after their national competition. It was the NAI national competition. And they were like, okay, well, can you recruit? I think I had to get like 25 kids was my minimum or something to get my budget. Right. And they're like, can you recruit that? I mean, that many kids, if you come March 1st or something like that, I think it was March 1st. And I said, I, I got it. I'm fine. I'm not worried about it. And they're like, okay. I mean, whatever. Cause I just wasn't going to leave my kids. Yeah, of course. Heck no. Heck and no. so anyway, that transition happened. And, um, I remember by like March 25th, I had like 35 kids. Really? And they were like, what? Uh, okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that was their first, like, you know, trust build with me of like, uh -huh. okay, I, th I think that we're going to let her do this. <laughs> yeah. Um, so anyway, that's kind of how the quick, you know, um, story of it happening kind of um, went. And so we started that fall um, full on. Um, we started with stunt. Um, we started training for NCA and I, I had about 35 girls, I think it was. And we were going advanced our first year division two, you know, we were against at the time, California Baptist and, um, you know, a bunch of other great schools, but they were the reigning champs at the time. And right. a lot of people in my area looked at me kind of crazy. Like you have a lot of talent. I'm surprised you have so much talent, but, but <laughs> why are you going advanced? You know, go intermediate, build what you're going to do and then get there. And I just had a completely different take on it. Um, right. I I'm, I'm going to go advanced. I'm going to build a culture. I'm going to, um, I'm not going to win right away. And I'm not concerned about that. I'm not going to preach to these kids. We're going to win right, right away. Right. We're going to preach success. We're going to preach culture. We're going to preach um, building ourselves. Um, but all that eventually. But if I go intermediate and then try to go advanced, it's just a it's just a whole other game. It's hard to do. Right, I'd rather right, right. try, 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 build, and then the mentality. Uh, the mentality yeah. is everything. Yeah, exactly. Um, and just recruiting wise, I want kids to see what we're going after. I want right. them to see, you know, the standing pools we had in our first year. Um, thanks to my best friend, Brent Steele in Colorado. <laughs> All right, Mr. Brent Steele of Steele yeah. Athletics. Let's go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, we cheered together at UCO. Um, nice. So I get some of the Steele kids. They are hard workers. I love yeah. them. Um, so anyway, that was kind of, um, you know, our first year and our mentality and um, and how we kind of got started. And our administration, our athletic director has been incredible. Um, I, you know, I, there's been many times I've sat across from him at his desk going, okay, I need this and this. And, and he's like, calm down. <laughs> Just do it. You're hired for a reason. Just do yeah. it. Like, what? Okay. Yeah. Uh, so they have been awesome. The school has been awesome. And, you know, the kids, as they come in, they, it's, it's cool to know that everything I wanted in a school is happening. Um, the kids mm. love OBU. They are, their job placement out of college is awesome. They're, you know, this year is really, um, we finished our fifth year and this is really the first graduating class we've had. Last year, uh, we did have graduating seniors. Yeah. Um, so, and some of those did do all four years with us. But some of them came in halfway through, transferred as we were recruiting. And so these, these last two years, but this year, we graduated, um, I think it was around 10 seniors. And um, that was one of our first graduating class that went every year with us and really built this program. Um, so anyway, that's just a quick snapshot and kind of so this is so this is you've been there for four years well this was our fifth season so this what is happened? okay so you just oh yeah so yeah, you just went through the fifth season and you started the program from scratch mm -hmm. yeah. so you so you basically are the founder of <laughs> what is now the uh the obu cheerleading program competitive program program yeah that is awesome that's hey, you know what at the end of the day that's uh that's something that i could if i were in your shoes i'd be able to sit down every day and go i did that 
<laughs> with with the help of some people, but definitely that is awesome. Oh, yeah, you know, and that's the, that's the thing. Kind of like I said, is what was important to me is there's just a lot of awesome people here in Oklahoma and cheerleading in Texas. You know, we're right. surrounded by incredible people, and um, you know, it just I I wanted the right perfect people, and I've had. I've had these people with me from the start. And like I said, their moms, their wives, their Christians, their, you know, we are, Amen. we're not just coaching these kids. We are, you know, constantly in our group texts, trying to mother them in a sense and yeah. figure out what's going on. And, oh my gosh, this person needs an internship. Oh my gosh, this person <clears throat> seemed a little off today. And, um, you know, so, and I, and I do bring in, um, I bring in some mails for tumbling, you know, that kind of stuff as well. But I, I just love the little family um, motherhood <clears throat> for the kids that we've been able to kind of create for them. Sounds, sounds like sounds like y'all are doing a lot of uh, nurturing and enriching of lives. And uh, once again, I think that, yeah. that's that is the most important because that's some yeah, point that's, does end. Yeah, that's the and that's the biggest compliment we can have from a kid is that they felt that, you know, when they were with us. Um, because like we said earlier, when you're in college, you're so confused. You're trying to figure it out. And I love that. I love those confused kids who need some direction and need some love and um and are so talented. And you know, I just I love that mixture of kid and just mm -hmm. watching them now. Um that's helping helping mold them about college. Yeah. Not yeah. making them something. All right. Well uh